want to fight an agger once. And the, uh, the only way I know how to fight is just get naked. Like, because no one ever wants to fight a naked dude. Like, and if you fight a naked dude, you can't just go home and be like, I beat the shit out of Andrew. And they'll be like, yeah, but I heard he was naked. And he'll be like, yeah, I know. And they'll be like, did you guys, like, what'd you look at? Like, what, did you touch each other? And he'll be like, I don't know. And like, especially if I'm like perched up in a tree, like predator, just like, let's do this. And I'm like, all, like it's swinging. And I'm just, let's go. That's what I assume Predator's dick sounds like. <laughs> Dude, you're looking at me longingly right now. I don't know what you smoked or what you were wrong with. <laughs> or maybe it's just your eyes. I don't know. Alright. This dude's from Chatham, Illinois. He's cried twice in kindergarten. Once is because I totally went down on his girlfriend. All right. He's a sophomore in architecture, and he goes by the name of David O'Brien, everybody. Um, I think that breast cancer awareness has done a lot for the acceptance of inappropriate t-shirts. Uh, because who would have thought that wearing an I Heart Titty shirt to church would make me a good person? But it does. <laughs> and, and, don't, and don't let your pastor or, or rabbi I don't know, tell you otherwise. Because if it's got a pink ribbon on it, it's okay. You say, you say, pastor, I'm sorry. If you have a problem with me spreading awareness of a deadly illness, well, then, then shame on you. And you know what? Maybe next week, I'll wear my fuck you Jesus lung cancer awareness shirt. <laughs> And don't ask me what fuck you Jesus has to do with lung cancer because by asking, you've already proven its effectiveness and that you are aware of lung cancer. So fuck you, Jesus. That's right, it's an exclamatory sentence. Happen. I was a little worried about telling that joke. I was like, fuck you, Jesus. I thought, you know, once the laughs start happening, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> um, I've been having flashbacks lately to my youth. Uh, kindergarten, uh, we were learning things like counting, usual. And we had, a, we had a test one day. It was a written exam. And it was over how, how high you could count from 1 to 100. And, like, I was doing fine till 10. And I kind of hit a wall. And I start freaking out because I'm looking around and like everybody else is cruising, right? And I'm like, I know it's 11, but what the fuck does it look like? <laughs> like I couldn't put two lines next to each other. And I saw, and I know what 12 looked like and what 13 looked like, but I could not figure out 11, right? And so I'm starting to freak out and my teacher walks in and I just, I remember this clearly. She looks at me, points and says, don't you cry on I cried. <laughs> That was one of the two. Um, so a couple things you should know about me really quick. My name is David, and I am not married. So I got a text from a guy I didn't know last semester, just completely randomly. I, didn't know, I had no idea who he was. That was really weird. He said, <clears throat> all the wives want to go to the Michael W. Smith concert on February 13th, <laughs> Sunday. The tickets will be $50 a ticket and go on sale December 3rd. I can order them and we can surprise the ladies for Christmas if you guys are up to it. $50 and I'm sure they will love it. So I just went, I was like, who is this? He says, James. So I said, oh, sweet. Well, my wife and I haven't really been on good terms lately. She kind of kicked me out. You think this ticket will help? And he responds, this is Matt Harmless, right? Yeah, man, shit got real last night. <laughs> he, says, he says, really? Sounds like it hit the fan. Tell me about it. Had to get a hotel last night, which was pricey. Definitely going to talk later, but if she's not down, I don't know where I'm staying tonight. I was trying to get him to let me sleep on his couch. <laughs> he, says, he says, let me know how the talking goes. I'll say a prayer for you. Uh, and I felt kind of bad because, you know, he brought God into it. 
Uh, <laughs> and I said, thanks, buddy. I hate to do this, but depending on how things go, could I maybe crash on your couch tonight? And then he didn't respond. <laughs> uh, so that was like at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was eating dinner, and I was like, oh, yeah, I was texting that guy, totally. So I, I was like, I'll send him another one. I said, hey, man, not sure if you got my message earlier. Talk didn't go well. Could I maybe crash on your couch tonight? <laughs> And then he tried to call me. So uh, like, I answered and I hung up really fast and I said, dude, I'm out of minutes, but I've got unlimited texting. What's up? <laughs> and then he responds, I'm not sure we know. What's my last name? So I said, James, I'm having relationship problems and you want to play games? Is this about the tickets? Fine, geez, I'll throw in 50, even though it's a dumb idea. Uh, and then he, he didn't respond, so I was like, all right, I'll just send one last text to James, call it a night. I said, look, I'm sorry. The ladies would love the show, so let's do it. Great idea, man. Also, it's a little cold out, so if you could maybe let me in, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, and that was it with James, and that's it with me, guys. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> Enjoyed that. 